you guys, I was just going to show you how I mix my HCG. And I was talking for like over five minutes, thinking I was recording. And guess what? It wasn't recording again. That's fine with me. Anyway, I'm finishing up here. And I just got to make sure that there's no HCG left in the bottle. And I don't see anything. Uh, I just want to show you guys. I bought some um, Hucog. Oh, from All Day Chemist, and um, I had some bacteriostatic water, and I had some alcohol swabs, I had a mixing syringe, and I have a diabetic needle right here. Um, the Hue Cog that I bought from All Day Chemist comes in a box like this. And uh, it came in a package that had, um, it had a tall vial right here on one side. And it had the HCG in a pill form on this side. I want to show you what it looked like. And you can just about throw the sodium, whatever, this chloride, the tall ampule away. Let me show you. This tall thing, you can throw that away. This is the HCG, the little tiny bottle. And what you want to do is you just clean off the top with an alcohol swab. You clean off the top of your bacteriostatic water with an alcohol swab. I clean off the top of my sterile mixing vial. And I clean off the end of my mixing needle. I uh, basically pull your mixing needle. If you have one that goes to 5 mLs, I pull it, draw. I draw 5 mLs if you can. Like, I didn't have that kind of syringe this time. But basically, you need 5 mLs of bacteriostatic water. You want to put 4 of it in your sterile vial. In this little sterile vial where your solution's going to go in the fridge, okay? You take the other 1 mL and you mix it with the pill right here. And then you pull it back out with the pill and you stick it in the sterile vial that's going to go in the fridge. So it's all mixed together in 5 mLs. Now right now, what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to go ahead and test my HCG on a pregnancy test. I think I've already done this once before. I buy these pregnancy test kits at um, Dollar Tree. And um, we're going to test the Hucog right now to see if it's good. Um, I had a bad experience with the Pregnel from hcgsupplies.com and um, it didn't last more than 15 days and so um, mixed and I don't know why that is. So what I do to test it on a pregnancy test is I try to pull I try to put about 10 units of this in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in our solution put some air in there and then pull back and we got us about 10 units okay and so now we just want to we want to put you normally would put four drops of pee on the side that has the little blue indicator window right here uh, this this part but we're gonna put some HCG and uh, I'm going to squeeze it on there right now. And we're going to see if we're pregnant. It only takes three minutes, folks. And it's only a dollar for one of these pregnancy test kits. And I if you're going to do the injections, I suggest that you get like five or ten of these you know, uh, pregnancy test kits because they can cost you a lot of, you know, save you a lot of money in the long run. Like with me this morning, this one was negative. You know what I mean? And uh, it told me that the symptoms I've been having for three days and I woke up this morning with another gain, uh, that it was because the HCG was no longer in my system. I, I don't cheat, folks. And uh, I've been losing for a long time on HCG. I started March 1st and I'm down. Uh, today I was 189.6, but I got down to 188.5 uh, two days ago. So when I started gaining, I knew there was something wrong. 
and it can be your HCG. So, uh, we're going to find out if we're pregnant right now, and it should only take uh, a few minutes. And um, in the meantime, I uh, just want to say hi to all my family out there. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, you're the reason that I can go on every day on this, uh, this protocol. Uh, I did go ahead and do a mini reload. I had some bacon this morning, an apple. I had, um, what else did I have? Um, something else. Uh, oh, I had coffee with coffee creamer. I went and bought some cheddar cheese. And I bought some more apples, and I bought some meat, and I'm going to have me a, uh, some kind of protein here in a minute, a lot of protein. And uh, normally I wouldn't do this even, but because I had been having these, like, not cravings, I wouldn't even call it. It was just, all of a sudden, my sense of smell the past three days was heightened. It was like I smelled everything. And um, I'll just tell you this, when I'm on HCG, I don't even have temptations, so I knew there was something wrong. Um, so far, I'm not getting pregnant on this. Uh, there's not even a faint line on this. And um, that's not good, you guys. Uh, positive would be showing faintly pink, and I'm not getting anything uh, yet. And it says it takes one to five minutes. So, I mean, I can wait one more minute. One, it results in three minutes, okay? And if it doesn't, I bought extra test kits, and I can test it on them as well. But I'm just having you sit here with me to see what I do whenever I have a problem, you know, that happens with me. Um, I'm just hoping it's not my Hucog because I bought three bottles of this. And a lot of people have had a lot of problems with other brands from All Day Chemist recently. But they're just a distributor. It really wasn't the brand. Uh, it might have been the brand. I think theirs was Ovidac or Corian or something. And I bought the Hucog. And I didn't buy it because they were having problems. I just bought it because I think that's what my doctor put me on the first time. Um... You guys, I am not showing even a faint window. I'm going to show you. Let's see here. That's not a good sign. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up another pregnancy test kit. That's why you buy more than one, folks. And we're going to try this one, okay? I hope it's not bad, otherwise I'll be opening another bottle of Hucog, and that won't be good. Then I'll have to write to All Day Chemist. Um, I didn't bother writing to Cheap HCG, because I think they have a policy on their website that they don't guarantee anything or something. So, um, that's why I didn't write them. Uh, okay, here is a new pregnancy test kit. We're going to draw out a little more HCG here. And we're going to put it in the control window. And I still don't see pregnant on the one that I just tested. So not even a faint line. So here we go. Now, before you stick this HCG in your body, you really want to know that it's pregnant, you know. Unless you're doing the HHCG, and that would be the homeopathic version, and there is no guarantee that there's real HCG in the homeopathic version. I don't know how they can get away with calling it HCG if there's not real HCG. I know it works on my friends, but I just don't understand that, I guess. But um, anyway, uh, we will see any second here. If this one's pregnant. So how's everybody doing today? 
Tuesdays are so much better than than Mondays. Okay, Mondays were so dreary yesterday. It really was like the song, Monday, Monday. Anyhow, I know this video is getting long. We're going to see if we're pregnant. It might have been the pregnancy test kit, that one. Um... Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back and show you. Okay, guys. Um, this is Miss HCG Girl again. And it looks like my pregnancy test is showing a faint, a very faint pink line. Can you see it? There's a dark red and a pink. So, I'm going to say my Hugh Cog is pregnant, not me, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to inject myself. And since none of you, you know, I don't know if any of you um, watch other people inject themselves, but uh, my daughter is diabetic, so I borrow some of her needles, and she has these kind of needles with all the easy markings on the side, and a very, very, very small, small needle here. This is the needle size, very tiny, okay? I'm going to uh, inject myself with 15 cc's, I mean 15 units. I don't know why I keep saying cc's, please forgive me. And we're going to go to the 15 mark, like right there, see that? And I'm going to inject myself, and I either do it in my thigh or in my tummy. And it's very, very, very easy. I guess I'll show you guys so you can see. And you can clean the area first. A little bit of alcohol. But I normally don't. And I just inject it in the fat. And that's it. It doesn't hurt whatsoever. So, I want to encourage all you guys out there. Don't get discouraged today. If you're having problems, try to do some troubleshooting. It might not be you. It might be your HCG, okay? This is Miss HCG Girl saying have a great day. I'm going to go finish uploading, and tomorrow I'll probably be up a, a little bit, but I'll be right back down because I am not giving up until I get this weight off of me. I want to end this round in the 170s, possibly around 175. So, peace out.